Why is this character in every single Grand Theft Auto game? You might be wondering, who is this guy? Or you might already know who he is from the thumbnail of the video. And today we're going to be talking about Jeffrey Crawford Laszlo Jones. He is actually one of the most renowned characters in the GTA series. And I will say, if you guys do enjoy this video, and you want to see more kind of like history of characters... Um, give it a thumbs up. It's always greatly appreciated, and if we could break 5,000 likes, that would be really, really cool. So, Laszlo Jones is an American talk show host who is involved in writing and producing the Grand Theft Auto games. And he actually voices his, his self, Laszlo Jones, in over eight Grand Theft Auto games, excluding Grand Theft Auto 1, 2, Advance, and Chinatown Wars. And... He's described from just in-game dialogue as an insecure, ill-mannered, and perverted radio host who's been able to retain work across the Grand Theft Auto rendition of the United States for over 30 years as of the events of Grand Theft Auto V and when it takes place. And I will say just real quick before we get started that some of this information has come from the GTA Wiki. You can check them out. Their link is in the description. <laughs> Okay, so I know you probably have 10,000 questions about why this character, Laszlo, is so unique to the Grand Theft Auto series. Well, there are just a bunch of reasons why. And he's actually one of 11 characters in the GTA series to exist in both the HD and the 3D universe. And he's also only one of four characters from the 3D universe to appear physically or in person in the HD universe. The other three would be Willie from Love Fist, Chris Fromage, and Jack Howitzer. So up until the release of Grand Theft Auto V in 2013, Laszlo was actually never seen before in a GTA game. He didn't have a character model or anything. He was only heard on the radio. And the only image we have of Laszlo prior to GTA V is from this concept art from GTA Vice City that I believe was featured in the official soundtrack. So if you don't know what the universes are in the GTA series, it's basically this barrier put into place by Rockstar Games that separates the 3D games from the HD games. And just to make it short, sweet, and to the point, the HD games are comprised of GTA 4 and 5, and it basically states that no character from the 3D universe can cross over, uh, except there's a loophole in these universe barriers, and it is that any character who is never physically seen in a GTA 3D era game, which means they have no character model, they can actually cross the universe barriers and appear in the HD games physically, which would mean that any radio or talk show host from the 3D games who are never seen they can appear in games like GTA 4 and 5. So, lastly, Laszlo is also the fifth real-life celebrity to physically appear in the GTA series. Behind the likes of Phil Collins and Cat Williams, those are just a couple. And what's this mean? Well, it means that Laszlo actually plays as his real-life self in-game. He's got the same name, the same voice, and he looks just like he does in real life. So let's talk in real life. Behind the scenes, Laszlo is actually one of the writers of the GTA game scripts, which are, it's a pretty cool fact right there. I honestly didn't know that one. Uh, I knew he was on the radio, but I didn't know he actually wrote the scripts. And he provides, obviously, political and cultural satire on the radios of the games. And he also writes dialogue for street NPCs. Cheesy vaginas! So we know Grand Theft Auto 3 is the first game to evolve radio stations into kind of what they are today in the GTA series and also the first GTA game to actually feature a live talk show. And uh, this was actually Laszlo's very first GTA game that he kind of appeared in. And he actually produced, scripted, and hosted Chatterbox FM Radio alongside Dan Hauser, the co-founder of Rockstar Games. All right, Liberty City, this is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hey, you ever had possum? That's some good eating. Nah, <laughs> I really can't say I have. Well, you ought to try it sometime. I tell you, man, it's good eating. And because of his success with Grand Theft Auto 3, Laszlo actually took on a larger role in GTA Vice City, and Rockstar hired his whole production company, uh, Radio Laszlo, to co-write and produce all of the radio stations in GTA Vice City alongside minor character and pedestrian dialogue, which is a really cool fact. 
And uh, being that Vice City was my first ever GTA game that I ever played in my life way back in 2004, um, one thing I always remember from the game is the radio stations and more importantly, Laszlo's voice. I always personally thought Laszlo had a really cool voice. It was one of those addicting ones that when you hear it on the radio station, you like to tune in to see what he has to say and just overall listen to just the satire and things and shit that he is just spewing out that is just insane. I'm 100% rebel. I got kicked out of school after the 12th grade, man. Moving on to San Andreas, Laszlo also co-wrote and produced all of the in-game radio stations for San Andreas. And he also hosted Entertaining America on WCTR. Exactly. Look, I I'm no rapper, even though I dress like one. But I think I could really get into, you know, getting hammered, singing about setting things on fire, shooting up funerals, ba da ba 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 you know, striking poses, smoking a lid. Exactly. In Grand Theft Auto 4, Laszlo once again returned as a member of the radio DJ or just like talk show host cast. And um, he was referred to on other radio stations in GTA 4 as the host of the long-defunct Chatterbox FM. And in GTA 4, he goes on to host Integrity 2.0, where he just wanders around Algonquin and interviews random pedestrians. So uh, it's worthy to know at this time that Laszlo is long past his prime. He's just a washed-up radio host now who uh, seems to be the butt end of everybody's jokes and conversations, meaning that Nobody likes the guy. He he just isn't entertaining anymore. He isn't funny. He's just he's just this old washed up guy who was once a somebody and once somebody that people like to listen to. Get your hot dog in. All right, you're listening to uh, Laszlo 2.0. You know, this, it's called integrity because it's you know sort of about me. You know, uh, like like how I'm gonna someday be a like a millionaire in blue jeans and you know with a guitar kind of slung over my back, singing singing about the struggles of, of being a blue collar guy. Because you know this show's about everybody, not just the people with money. You know, but like this guy. Here's here's a working class guy on the street, street food uh, kind of vendor guy. Now by 2013 and the events of Grand Theft Auto 5, Laszlo moved on from Liberty City to Los. Santos and he now works for Chattersphere, a radio show on WCTR and he's also the host of Famer Shame and he goes on to appear in the missions Famer Shame, Reuniting the Family and Meltdown. And these actually become the first time that we ever see Laszlo in the GTA series and well it proves to be quite embarrassing uh, from this Laszlo we've gotten to know throughout the years. Stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's also, I will say I didn't forget Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories. In both of these games, Laszlo does appear as a radio or just a DJ host. And he plays just a small role in these games as the host of just a radio show inside of a big radio station. So I will say the coolest thing about Laszlo Jones in the GTA series is his involvement in writing radio content for all the 3D era GTA games has actually, uh, in an essence, created a sense of continuity between the games, even though they were released out of chronological order. Meaning games like GTA 3, which were released in 2001 and take place in the year 2001, um, things said on the radio station there and the way things uh, happen in this game are actually referred to in Liberty City Stories, which takes place in 1998, but it was released in 2005. So because of this, Laszlo and his talk show is actually able to give explanations for certain things that happened in GTA 3 that didn't happen in Liberty City Stories, which is just really cool. And I like what Rockstar did with that, or if it's Laszlo that wrote this, I definitely love what he did with that because it answers all these questions that we would have if it wasn't for... Laszlo and his radio host and just all the all the crazy things he says within the GTA games. Now before we go, let's take a look at some of the fun facts about Laszlo Jones. So aside from being totally embarrassed in GTA 5 and just having his reputation annihilated, uh, we can actually take a look at his LCPD database record as of 2008 and GTA 4. So um, his name is Laszlo Jones, obviously. He's 46 years old, he was born in the Midwest, and he's got a criminal record. And it's not a lengthy one, but it's also not a short one. So, uh, he's got six things listed on his record, ranging from stalking, forcible touching, which means, you know, he goes up and just, just grabs a woman by the boobs, or as Donald Trump would do. Grab him by the pussy. Bribery. Public lewdness, which means he was running around naked somewhere. Bribery. 
and exposure of a person. I'm not sure what that means, whether or not somebody sent him like nude pictures and he put them on a website. Maybe that's what that could be. But uh, there's notes on here saying that he's hosted the popular uh, radio show on Chatterbox. He was t- twice charged for uh, payola scandals in 2001 and 2004, which would just be the bribery charges. Uh, he was arrested for public urination. I guess that's why that's the whole public lewdness thing there. Um, he was peeing in public. <laughs> Funny Laszlo. Uh, He's got a history of exposing himself to old women when down on his look. Okay, so he wasn't like exposing nude pictures of people. He was he was putting naked pictures of himself or just showing his penis to to old ladies when he was feeling bad. Oh my gosh, Laszlo. Okay, so that's enough of Laszlo. That's the history of Laszlo Jones and why he appears in every single Grand Theft Auto game. It's because he plays as his real life self. And he proves to be an integral role in a lot of the GTA games because he writes the scripts for the games. So if you guys enjoyed this video, a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. Uh, If we could break 5,000 likes, that would be awesome. Subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to see more videos like this uploaded daily on the channel. And with that sent out the way, I believe that's just about it. My name is Zach Cox. Thank you all for stopping by, and I will see you all in the next video.